Today, I want to show you how you can publish a Power BI report to the online environment, the Power BI service environment. And you don't need a paid license to do it. You don't need a pro or premium license to publish to your own workspace. I came up with this video because I got asked about this so many times during training that people asked, okay, this is nice. I just built a report in Power BI desktop, but how can I get it online? But not online to like everyone, but to workspace. So let's go into Power BI. Here we are in my report. I just built a report. I still have some stuff selected. You see, I have a lot of pages here. So now how do I get this published? At the top, when you see home, you have this publish button. And this publish button actually means that you can publish it to the Power BI service environment, the online environment. If we click on this, it first always asks you, do you want to save your changes? So it really makes sure that you publish the latest version to the online environment. So we say save. And then we see here the publish to Power BI pop up. And it's automatically selected your workspace, the my workspace, and everyone can publish to the my workspace. So even if you don't have the license, you can do that. And you see, I have some folders in my workspace and I have some semantic models and some reports in there. I could choose one of the other workspaces that I have, but for now I want to go to my workspace. I go to select and then you see publishing. So you get this waiting window. And then you get this message, publishing to Power BI success, and then you can open it. You get this message the first time because now I didn't have this report in my online environment in my workspace yet. But if we would publish it a second time, let's do that to the same workspace. We get a new message and it's replace this data set. You already have a semantic model named demo dashboard in Power BI. Replacing this data set may impact one report. This is super handy because it tells you, okay, there's already something there. Yes, we want to replace this data set because we republish again, but it also, when you work together with others and you see here this impacts like three reports, two dashboards, and you only know of one of them. This is the moment you check with your coworkers or other people because probably they're using your data model that's behind this and you don't just want to publish stuff and change everything they're doing. So this is a really nice message. So now I say replace again. And now we already get this link. And if I click on this, we go to the Power BI environment. And on the left here, you see all these pages that I had in my Power BI desktop file here at the bottom. When you publish to the online environment, to Power BI service, these will be at the left side. If I don't want to show all these pages, this is really good to know, you can hide them. So if I go back to my Power BI file and I see here at the bottom, some have these eyes. It's like a line through it. This means this page is hidden and you can right click on any page and say hide. And when you do that, that means once you publish it, this page will be hidden. So that's super handy. Everyone can publish to the workspace, the my workspace. You can only publish to like a shared workspace with your coworkers if you have a pro or premium license. But when you have that, you can share them also with others. Don't be afraid. It will not go like to the internet, these kind of things. That's a different button in the online environment. This is just for sharing with your coworkers or put it in your own workspace. I hope this helps. Let me know.